what's up guys today we're gonna be learning how to do that effect that like walk through door effect that you just saw GCU do um, I actually know the guy who did it his name is Bryce Wheeler boom I'll pop his uh, his Instagram on the on the screen right there uh, super dope he does like crazy graphic designs and he also dabbles in video and he also did um, that sick video you just watched so, but today we're gonna break down how he did it in Final Cut um, first, what you want to do is record either a TV or on this cape, I just recorded my laptop. And you want to have the full screen of your laptop or TV showing the play that you want to use. So in this case, I have this one right here. This play. Where they just do a bunch of dribble handoffs and then she pulls up. And if you notice, I get up and move right around the time she's about to shoot because it will make it more realistic. Um, your final result but anyways this is how you do the first part of it you can I've recorded this on my phone you don't need any fancy equipment and you just go and open the uh, open the door and as you can see I, I was not in my room um, but yeah so first what we're gonna do is we're going to go and find the point where we open the door which looks like is I'm using my left and right arrow keys. It looks like that is about right right there when you can first start to see. And I'm going to press Command-B and cut. And then I'm going to go to the first frame of the, of the clip that we just cut. So right here. And I'm not on the first frame. Now I am. And we're going to go to Mask. So Mask. And we're going to drag the Draw Mask onto that clip that we have where the door is opening and we're going to make a little time I'm going to zoom in we're going to make a tiny tiny mask huh I actually might not make the mask right there um, I'm going to go to fit I've never done this effect actually it's kind of on the fly I'm going to make the first mask right here and we'll see how that looks so I'll go here, 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 and here. And then we're going to invert it because that's where the video is going to be showing. And then we're going to make sure that we press keyframes because it's really important and annoying if you forget. So we want to make sure all four of these are clicked. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go frame by frame. So we're going to go to the next frame. And then we're just going to adjust. So wherever the closet, the inside of the closet is shown, we don't want that. That's where we're going to be moving our mask. And then we're going to go. It looks like we're doing every two frames. Right here. Right here. And about right there. And we can feather the, the mask as well. Here, 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 and here. Yep. And y'all guys can see, I'm probably going to fast forward this part, but you get to kind of get the gist of what we're doing. Okay, so now. I think, like I said, I've never done this, so I think we masked them out right. Let's see. I'll give it a couple seconds to render, but it should be looking pretty smooth. Yep, that looks about right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and time whenever we left. So we left on the last uh, handoff. So let's find that last handoff, which happened about right here. And we're going to cut the, the beginning of it because we don't need that. And let's try and match up when that happens. So we left again on the last handoff, right? Okay. And she takes that first dribble right here. So I'm using the M key. I'm going to make a mark. And then I'm going to drag this on top so we can see it. And I'm going to see when she takes that first dribble. Takes it right 
there. So using the M key again, I'm going to make a mark. Then I'm going to drag this down. And I'm going to match those two marks. And then let's see what we have here. Hmm. All right, so we matched it up, but I actually don't like the way it looks because it's kind of like she's already shooting. Uh, so maybe we won't match it up so perfectly. So let's see what that looks like. I like that way more. Cool. Let's play it over one more time. Nice. So yeah, once we once we get that done, uh, the timing is probably going to be different on every single one you do. I saw Bleacher Report do like five in a row. It looked pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, this is what it should look like whenever you're done.